everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's recipe, we're making a homemade from scratch spaghetti sauce. I've got my homegrown tomatoes that I just picked a batch today, right here, and we're gonna add all kinds of um, spices and herbs and onions and garlic and all kinds of good stuff. And uh, I tell you, you guys can make this vegetarian if you like. I'm not gonna be doing that today. I'm gonna be making it with some ground beef and some sausage, but you can leave it out and it is very fresh tasting, very delicious, and you'll love it that way as well if you're vegetarian. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious spaghetti sauce right after this. All right, everyone, let's go over our ingredients and get started. First off, we have our tomatoes. Remember I told you that these were homegrown. I got them out of my garden today, actually. Still have a few left, so anyway. Uh, what we're gonna do with our tomatoes is we're gonna roast them in the oven. Um, first, we're gonna take these and I'm gonna take the stems off and I'm gonna V cut out the little stem area so it's not in there. Then I'm gonna coat these with a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna place them into our oven at 450 degrees so that they can roast for about 25 to 30 minutes, somewhere in there. Now what that's gonna do is it can, it's going to intensify the flavors and it's gonna draw out some of the water in the tomatoes. Now what that's gonna do is make our sauce a little bit thicker, which is what I want. All right, next up is our uh, mushrooms. Now I'm using dried porcini mushrooms here. What I'm gonna do is just add some warm water to these and let them rehydrate uh, for about 20 minutes until they soften up and then I can finally chop them up and toss them into my sauce. Next we have some carrot. Now this is sort of a newer addition for me. I feel that the carrot takes out some of the acidity in your sauce and makes it just a little hint of sweetness to it. We'll need a yellow onion that is super fine diced and if you need a video on how to do that I have one and I'll leave a link for you down below in the description. Next up we'll need some fresh garlic and I'm just going to use a garlic press to press that into my uh, mixture. Next up, we have celery. Now, here's what we do with the celery. You get a whole stalk of celery, remove all the outer stalks, and right in the center, you get that little core piece that has a lot of leaves and is very tender. That's the piece you wanna use. So we're gonna take that and use that, chop it up really fine along with a few other leaves, and just really give it a super fine dice. And you, you're gonna get that really good flavor in there, guys, but you're not gonna really notice the celery. Next up is our basil. I got fresh basil here. I haven't chopped it up yet because it oxidizes super quick and turns black and unattractive. So I'm gonna do that a little bit later. Next up is our oregano. I'm using all fresh herbs here, guys. With the oregano, you wanna just peel some of the leaves off. They're fairly large and you can get mostly just leaves and no stems. With our thyme, which is our next one here, it's very tiny and so you just kind of rip off you know, some of the thyme. Don't worry about trying to not get the stems because that's just like too much work. So uh, just you know, tear off a piece and you're gonna want about a teaspoon of all of these. And we're gonna chop that up as well. Our last uh, herb is sage and we're going, the leaves are larger on sage so it's easy enough just to peel the, the leaves off and leave the stems and then we'll just chop that up nice and fine. Our next ingredient is the sausage. I'm using Adele sausage. I really like that uh, company's sausages. They're very good. They're, you know, no nitrates. They're gluten-free. Um, you know, just a lot of good stuff there. Lots of good ingredients. So our next ingredient is our ground beef. I'm using grass-fed beef here. Some salt, pepper, and some olive oil. So while the tomatoes are roasting in the oven, we're gonna cook up our onions. I got my frying pan here. I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium-high heat. Add about a tablespoon, maybe a little extra, probably a little extra. Can't have too much olive oil. <laughs> and we're gonna saute our onions for a good 30 minutes. That's kind of the secret to the sauce. You gotta go low and slow. So anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, we're gonna caramelize these onions and it makes this sauce taste wonderful. So we'll stir these every so often, you know, keep an eye on them, make sure they're not uh, not over, you know, cooking too fast. We want them to cook kind of slow. I got a medium heat right now just to get them going. I just took the tomatoes out of the oven after 30 minutes and you can see all the liquid, all the water that's released from them. You have to carry this out of the oven very carefully, guys, by the way, because you can spill that liquid and it's very hot. 
So I got another dish here and I'm just gonna take the tomatoes out so they can cool. Then after they cool a bit, then we'll peel the skins off. Now we're ready to work on our mushrooms. So they've been rehydrating, right? So put them in a little strainer and run some water through them. We're gonna try and rub out and remove any extra sediment that might be left in them. And then we'll chop them super fine and that way they'll be ready to go into our onion mixture. Our onions have been cooking now for about 40, 45 minutes and you can see how they've gotten, you know, nice, a nice golden brown and they've reduced down a little bit in their volume. And now it's time to add our mushrooms. So those mushrooms I just chopped up are going right in. Now I'm on low heat now. I've been on low heat for quite a while. Uh, I'm gonna br bring it up a little bit higher just to get this to cook a little bit. I'm gonna cook this for about two, three minutes and then I'm gonna add some more stuff. Next, I'm gonna add the celery to this and the carrots. And I'm gonna cook this for about three or four minutes. Now it looks a little dry. I'm gonna add just a touch of olive oil to this, just like a teaspoon. All right, now we're ready to add our garlic and I minced it and just tossed it right in here and we're gonna saute this for about two minutes. And after we're done with, with this for two minutes, then we're gonna just turn this off and I'm gonna place this mixture into my stock pot right over here. The tomatoes have cooled off enough now, so now we're ready to peel off the skins. They're, they're still warm, but I can handle them. And we'll peel off the skins and place them into the food processor and we'll just blend it up a little bit so it turns into like a tomato sauce. So I can see here, it takes a little time, but you just peel off the skin, it comes right off just like that. So now we just whiz up our tomatoes. And then we'll just place this into our stock pot. Now I'm gonna add all the herbs to the sauce. So I've got my sage. Let's get all of that in there. And the thyme, the oregano and the basil. We like basil a lot, so we use a little extra basil. And then you want to stir that in. Now over here in this pan, I've got my ground beef cooking up. And I'm trying to break it up into small pieces. And I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this. Now remember, we haven't added any salt yet to our sauce, and we'll be doing that in a bit. So we'll just cook this until it's done. And I'll drain it and add it to the sauce. The ground beef is done. There's hardly any fat in this. It was very lean, so I'm just gonna, I don't have to drain it. I'm just gonna toss it right into my sauce. So now's the time I'm gonna add some salt to our sauce. I'm gonna sprinkle in probably a, a good teaspoon. I'm not measuring, I'm just gonna go with that and then I'll taste it. Now it's time to add the sausage. Now Adele sausage is already cooked, so we don't have to worry about cooking it. I just sliced it up into nice little slices and we toss it in and then we're going to let this simmer for a good half hour and then we can, we can serve it up with pasta or noodles, you know, pasta noodles or zucchini noodles, whatever you want. So I'm going to put a lid on that and let it simmer. Sauce is done. I cooked up some zoodles, which are zucchini noodles, right, for a little healthier version. And I'm just going to serve it up with some of that just so you can see how it looks. And then I'm going to taste it, of course. All right, check this out. This is certainly a meaty sauce, full of herbs and flavor, guys, with the mushrooms and the onions and all of those fresh herbs. It makes a huge, huge difference. All right, I don't think I can take a bite yet because I think it's just a bit hot. <laughs> Could be dangerous. All right, move dangerously. Here we go. Got a little piece of sausage on there. That is delicious. I can taste the onions and the richness of the sauce and the brightness and the freshness of it. It is really good. It takes a little bit of work. I'm not gonna kid you, but it's well worth it. And if you got a, a helper in the kitchen, it goes a lot quicker. So thanks again for watching everybody. Um, I do appreciate it very much. Leave me a comment, try this recipe, let me know what you think. And like I said before, you can make this vegetarian by leaving out the meat and it is just flavorful. So I think you guys will all like it. There's a way to, for everybody to be happy with this recipe. It's great. 
Thanks again for watching everybody. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, by golly, click that subscribe button and that way you won't miss a new video coming out every week. And like I said, leave me a comment. I like hearing from you guys. I like having conversations. So do leave me comments and let me know what you'd like to see in the future and uh, how you like this recipe. So thanks again. We'll see you next time. Cheers.